Hi, I'm Seamless, and today is Saturday, which means it's time for a new FL12 Basics tutorial. And today, we're going to be talking about Step Edit Mode. You might think it's a little bit weird that I'm doing this before I do my actual video on the overall line editors, but I am taking a particular moment to specifically mention this particular bit. Because it's something that people forget about, and they get confused when I open up something that has an envelope, and I say, I want to make an envelope. And then I do this, and then I do this. And then they get confused about how I did that without right-clicking and individually deleting everything. And for those of you that were paying attention while I was doing it, you would have seen me click this button. I mean, you should have because I messed up and had to do it again. So it's obviously it's a bit more obvious than it would have been that I initially planned. Point being, this button turns on what's called step edit mode. I don't know why it's called step edit mode, but what it does is that it turns it from right-clicking to put down a point, right-clicking to change edit and delete points. You have the option to just left-click to draw a point and right-click to delete a point. You might notice that it's actually snapping to stuff because snap's on. But if you turn snap off, you can be very artistic with your enveloping and that kind of thing. It's like a DNA thing. Anyway, step editing is available in almost all of the line editor windows you'll find anywhere. And it's also something that you can do with automation clips in the, uh, that was called the piano roll, in the playlist. We. But you might see that there's not really any kind of option for that in here. And where you change that is up here. We have step and slide. If you turn on the step mode, It is linked to the snap of the overall um, overall playlist in any of the environment that it's in. But fun thing about snap is that if you hold down alt, it'll, sw it'll switch. And I say switch and I just it'll turn snap off because if you have snap off, holding alt will turn snap on. So it's whatever the opposite of the current setting is. So if you hold down alt, we and you can draw your own automation. It does an average of the points that you do because you see it's not the same if you have a pretty a pretty straight line here or a curve is whatever you can see that's averaging the points to the point where you don't have a thousand points doing you know one thing so that's something that it does for the most part that's still pretty accurately what i did there and other cool stuff we'll talk about more cool things when we get to the actual line editor video but for the time being i did i wanted to point out the fact that step editing exists and for the most part it is in almost all things that have line editors so whenever you're in citrus and you want to go to the lfo on something and you're annoyed by this pre-set up envelope here, which is really only here to tell you that you can set up envelopes to change the LFOs. You wanna get rid of them, but you don't wanna spend your time because you miss and then you're like, crap. You can just take the step edit mode and all of it away. And then you've got, you know, your regular LFO. It's a good time. And that's how I recommend living life. You know, re also for just regular envelopes and that kind of thing. And then same thing with uh, Harmer's stuff where you have envelopes that somehow sometimes already have stuff in it, kind of like this thing, and then you just go, no. You notice that it won't delete important points. Like for example, in this in this prism window, the the the, the end point and the beginning point are always going to be there, so they need to be there. Uh, same thing with the, with the automation clips where um, you can delete the last point, but that first point will still will always be there and you can't delete it. So there, there is there is sort of a protection for those for those kinds of points when you're doing uh, line editor stuff with step editing mode. For the most part, I don't really use step editing mode for actual um, drawing of, of envelopes, but sometimes you, I think you might wanna. Um, it's not, I mean, just because I don't do it doesn't necessarily mean it's not usable. But for example, it would be pretty cool to mess around with the step editing mode in the wave shaper to draw very weird wave shaping waves because then this will create very interesting and very, very unique distortion algorithms, and it'd be kind of cool. I might experiment with some of that in some future sound design just to see what's up, because I've literally never done that. There might be a reason for that, but we'll find out. Anyway, that's a step edit. That's step edit. It's a good time. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And as usual, have a nice day.